Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another uh, LEGO Star Wars Last Jedi review, and this one is on the First Order Heavy Scout Walker. And on the front of the box here, we see, we see the LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, and Disney logo in the corner, and recommended ages 9 through 14, set number 75177, has 554 pieces. And then flip to the back. You see it in a more park position, all the features of it. Then you slide it with the box. And now to the booklet. Same picture as on the front and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then see all the pieces included with it. And then all the sets that are available and uh, all the minifigures that there are. A little promotional poster for the sets. And then the last steps for it. And on to the minifigure. So, first of all, is General Hux. Who of which is has just about some of the same stuff as he did in the last in the Force Awakens sets. But this time around has the a hairpiece which is is kinda common for most minifigures nowadays. It's only a small pistol right there, but it looks quite nice. And on the back as or see it's like back printing, but no double sided face. And we got Resistance Gunner, or I mean First Order Gunner, who have which a small pistol and same helmet, same exact Loki focus, focus, same exact Loki slash wing face, same back printing, well, same everything from the First Order. Or, I mean, from the Force Awakens sets. And then we got a resistance, or a female resistance trooper. The same thing with the gunmetal gray yeah, pistol. And kind of about the same front and back printing, just the same as in the Force Awakens lines. And then. Get Flame Trooper, which has came in just a couple of sets and also First Order Battle Pack from last year. Or in a First Order Battle Pack. And then same Angry Clone Face, same everything. But nice to get for army building. And now on to the Walker itself. So from the bottom below, see so he has a few technic beams to be like the multiple legs. And so there's like eight in total. And underneath it are the are little wheels with tires on them. I think they should have been clear, but what can you do? But at least they're well hidden from them. And I think the shaping of it looks pretty good. Like so all of these like uh, curvy pieces, but at least couldn't have used the brown, more roundish pieces, but, you know, since bricks are kind of not much circular. And then further on up, you get some more of the, like, some, like, slopey pieces. Then for the main head of the blocker, for the main head of the blocker, with just two little guns on there, and also, which kind of bits, feels kind of like a uh, ATST walker, but in a little ways, but a little different. And on the sides of it are a couple of spring loaded launchers that move up and down and fire like so. And then what's kind of different is the back part of it, which has a couple of guns and a couple of clips for or a few clips for the guns, and also for the an extra spring launcher missile, which they always, always include just one of, and it's compared to two, but you can fit 
the trooper's guns on there if you want to. And also what that thing on the top is for. Is that you can pull on it and it lifts up like so. And I don't know if you can see much inside, but see there's a little uh, control panel piece and it's printed. And of course there are no stickers at all in this set. Which of course always great. But as it shows in the instructions that you can fit a mini fig right in between those little black studs in there. There we go. Well, can I hang them in there like that? Probably to get the effect of it peeking out and stuff. Just let me get it in, in it. And there we go. And now to the main feature of this is watch. Whoops. I can retrieve it later. Hmm. So that was really, really cool, that is. There's my little technic beams and the wheels hitting all those. Done pretty well. And but it, and it does roll well, mainly on soft or flat surfaces. But it would be hard to do it on like carpet and stuff. But also there's a lot of those like uh, technic system like pieces. So if you're looking to get a bunch of those, this is the one to get. And now, on to it, the final verdict. Alright, so the final verdict on the First Order Heavy Scout Walker. Well, I think it's a pretty good set, but of course this one, which has a few legs, which are eight legs total, which we don't really see on any walk, or never saw on any kind of walk, or ever. And of course, in the price per piece, it kind of works out, but at least we're always nice to get some more diversity for ever-growing collections. And if, but, and if you're looking to get in this set, then go ahead and get it. And that is it with this video, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.